Okay, so what are some features that are going to be made by metamorphosism? So we've already talked about foliation, and so this is going to be whenever you subject the, the minerals to directed stresses, and you can see that it can cause the minerals to reorient themselves so that originally the minerals might look something like this where they've got different orientations but then after the stress has been applied then they look more like this so it can reorient the minerals it can segregate the minerals into bands so that was what you would find in the metamorphic rock gneiss it can flatten the minerals so originally the the minerals might be kind of like this but then after metamorphosism they look kind of like that so they can be flattened and it's not just the minerals so sometimes a rock will have pebbles or rocks in it and then the pressure being applied to those pebbles will cause them to flatten instead of being spherical they end up being more elliptical okay some other kinds of metamorphic features is something that's going to be called rock cleavage and so in that first picture there you'll notice that you've got some rocks that have been metamorphosized like this so they've, they've been bent into that shape and then you'll notice that it's got some lines on it like this and those cracks in that metamorphic rock so that's going to be called rock cleavage and so that's just the stress being applied to those rocks has caused them to break like that another thing is sometimes in a metamorphic rock you can see the original bedding that was in the the rock so like for example in a sandstone you find sandstones on a beach and you find sandstones in a desert and it tends to make layers like this well sometimes you can even see those original layers after it's been metamorphosized but remember that those layers are not the same thing as foliation so it's not that the, the, the sand grains have reoriented themselves to make the layers like in a nice those are the original layers that the sand made and then they were uh, kept when it was metamorphosized and then the last picture there shows a shear zone in which you had these two rocks that were originally like this and then because of the forces they were sheared like this and so that you'll notice that the rock is up and down and then it makes a curve and then it does that so that's where the rocks are being smeared out as a result of metamorphosism okay we'll take a break and when we come back we're going to talk about what is an index mineral